I, I'm going to talk loud so you know, Bob can hear me and then all, right, all the what? relatives okay. that can be very Okay, you're, you're the groomsmen over here, boys. Coming your way, Wendy. Uh, I just wanted to move that way. Yeah, we're going to walk her down. Oh, okay. We're going to walk down the aisle. Yes, get away. Bobby, Bobby. Oh, yeah, you can watch her. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Dude, you might have a career in video. Oh, I'm going to do that on the video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. gathered here in the sight of God in the presence of these witnesses to join together this man and this woman in holy matrimony, which is an honorable estate instituted of God and signifying unto us the mystical union which exists between Christ and his church, which is, which is holy uh, estate Christ adorned, adorned and beautified with his presence in Canaan of Galilee. It is therefore not to be entered, to, entered into unadvisedly, but reverently, discreetly, and in the fear of God. Into this holy estate, these two persons come now to be joined. If any man can show just cause why they not may not be lawfully be joined together, <laughs> let them now speak, or else hereafter, forever, hold in peace. All right. Everybody's good. All right. <laughs> I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered the holy covenant you are about to take, you do now declare before this company your pledge of faith, each to the other. Be, be well assured that if these solemn vows are kept inviolate, inviolated, as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of your heavenly Father, God will bless your marriage, will grant you fulfillment in it, and will establish your home in peace. All right, Gary, wilt, wilt thou have this woman? Wait a minute. That's coming up. Yeah, it's coming up. Okay. Be patient. <laughs> no? Oh, yeah, you can stand next to Carrie. Now, Carrie still stands there. This is not the voucher. This is the charge. <laughs> Gary, wilt thou have this woman to be thy wedded wife, to live together in the holy estate? Of Ma We're going to keep going. In the holy estate um, of matrimony. Wilt thou love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, keep thee only unto her so long as you, you both shall live. Betty, wilt thou have this man to be thy wedded husband, to live together in, hope, in the holy estate of matrimony? Wilt thou love him, comfort him, honor, and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all other, to keep thee only until him so long as ye both shall live? I will. Who giveth this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I. <laughs> all right. You're I'm You're over here. Yeah, the best man. Yeah. Okay. If you two will face each other, there you go. And repeat after me. I, Gary, take me, Betty, to be my wedded wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I pledge thee my faith. All right. All right. Do you repeat after me? <laughs> I Betty. I Betty. Take thee, Gary. Take thee, Gary. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. To have and to hold, 
from this day forward, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death do us part, according to God's holy ordinance, and thereto I pledge thee my faith. All right, so the rings. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, each of you hold. We yeah. messed up. That's all right. <laughs> all right, so the wedding ring. The wedding ring is the outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual grace, signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman the holy matrimony. Christ our Lord. Let us pray. Right. Bless, O Lord, the giving of these rings, that they who wear them may abide in thy peace and continue in thy favor through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Alright, so if you will repeat after me that in token and pledge, in token and pledge, constant faith in abiding love, with this ring, I be wed, in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. In token and pledge of our constant faith in abiding love, with this ring, I be wed in the name of the Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. For as much as Gary and Betty have consented together in holy wedlock and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and thereto have pledged their faith each to the other, and have declared the same by joining hands and by giving and receiving rings. I pronounce that they are husband and wife together in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Those whom God hath joined together, let not man put asunder. Amen. Let's pray. O God, eternal creator and preserver of all mankind, giver of all spiritual grace, the author of everlasting life, send that blessing upon this man and this woman whom we bless in your name that they may surely perform and keep the vow and covenant between them made and may ever remain in perfect love and peace together and live according to thy laws live graciously upon them that they may love honor and cherish each other and so live together in faithfulness and patience and wisdom and true godliness that their home may be a, ha a haven, a blessing, and a place of peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Okay, so um, if everybody will just join in me in reciting the Lord's Prayer, we can say it all together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. So I'm going to say a blessing over you two. So God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep you. The Lord graciously, with his favor, look upon you, and so fill you with all spiritual benediction and love, that you may live so, that you may so live together in this life, that in the world to come you may have life everlasting. Amen. So I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss your bride. Woo! <laughs> Woo! 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 Woo